So it's been a few days since I last left you all off with this sort of cliffhanger of new possibilities. I opened a door to, I suppose, about three different scenarios and honestly, it kind of turned in a way that I didn't really expect and it's definitely started me on a very new track for new beginnings that I am very excited to take you all along with me on. But it started off in a way that I really didn't think it would. Recently, living in the city has kind of started to wear on me. It's only ever been something that I wanted to do temporarily, and I expected to do a lot more adventuring and traveling than I actually have. There have been a lot of things in my personal life that have prevented that, but as things have evened out and the free time to get out has kind of come up again, I am or have been looking for other places to go. And one of the things that I kind of been doing on and off and in the back of my mind is searching for rental properties uh, in the mountains or in the woods and it's not really something that I expected to pan out. I really want to find a quirky cool place and right now there's not a lot on the market but I had found this really cute perfect cabin just tucked up in the woods. It's um, borders a national park and is really close to Rainier and it was just it was perfect. It was exactly what I was hoping to find and I was scheduled to go check it out and meet the owner and see what was up uh, that next morning but in the morning I checked to see the address and saw that I had gotten an email saying that they ended up going with someone else which just happens. It's not the first time that's happened to me when it comes to rental properties and you know, especially these days, things just go really quick. So uh, I had high hopes and I at least thought I was going to see the property, but that's okay. That just happens sometimes. But I was a little bit disappointed, a little bummed, and I was really hoping to have an adventure that day. That was really the thing that I was looking forward to most because I knew it wasn't a sure thing for me to get the house. So I kind of just started looking at houses again and at the time, I really had only considered renting, but I found this really quirky little house uh, up north. Not on a lot of land, but tucked in the woods, and I was sold. And things just kind of happened really quickly. I tried my best to film it, but I only ended up getting a few things because I was on the phone and driving and all of these other crazy things. And then I just got there and I was mesmerized. But I, I found it, called the realtor and said, can I come see this now? And she very kindly said, yes, I had to drive two hours and I just kind of hopped in the car and went. And I fell in love. <laughs> and it probably was not for the best that I did because after looking at it a little closer, there were some problems, some things that I was really here to deal with. It didn't have water or electricity, but those were things that I'm fine with having, not having, I suppose, and some of those things can be altered or fixed, but um, the more I looked at it and kind of talked to the people in charge of it, I realized that it wasn't a uh, legal structure, so essentially I was only going to be buying the land, but the land next door was selling for a quarter of what this was selling for, and then uh, there were multiple offers on the table and then I, in order to even have a chance at buying it, I would have had to offer over 20,000 more than what they were asking for and that's not my game. <laughs> so the market's crazy right now and that's a lot to do with COVID, a lot to do with a lot of people coming of house buying age and, you know, it's kind of a lost cause, but it, it kind of planted the seed of adventure and finding my home again. I mean, that's the whole reason I moved out west was to find where I wanted to live. And after being in Washington for a while now, 
I'd be pretty happy to call this place home. I do have some degree of roots here and that does help and it truly is very beautiful. And one of my biggest criteria for finding a home was that it reminded me of Skyrim and Washington's pretty Skyrim-y. I'm very excited to get back to exploring more. I did a little bit this winter, but I really haven't set out on expeditions for the purpose of finding where I want to live. And so today I thought I'd start that with you all. Are you ready to go on an adventure? Are you ready to go on an adventure? Okay, let's go. Let's go, boo. Okay. so in love with this place. It's so beautiful here. Let's hope that stays. When I first got on the road today, I had kind of planned to go somewhere different than I ended up going. Uh, I thought I was going to travel more out east and instead I went up north a bit. And it was kind of a spur of the moment decision. Uh, something about where I am right now has been calling out to me for a while. I kept finding myself coming out this way in the winter and every time I look for places that are available, I always end up here. And I figured, why not just give it a try instead of going and looking at all of these other places that I have kind of wanted to peek at and just see, why not try this? And maybe it was a bad idea. Part of the reason I wanted to go to the other places was because they're a little more affordable for my current budget. And while this one is sort of, it, it does uh, kind of cost a bit more, but uh, it's, not, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. <laughs> Sorry, my uh, camera kind of fell over. And I did not realize it stopped recording until now. The property and area that I went and looked at yesterday was really very beautiful and I kind of fell in love probably a little too quickly. And it's definitely somewhere that I think I could call home. But there are some pretty big considerations that I need to take into account. Uh, there are some challenges with the area uh, that I'm not really going to necessarily get into because one, it does pinpoint the area a little bit more than I would like to and also, you know, it's just not a for sure thing yet so I still have a lot more adventuring that I need to do before I really figure out if this is a place I want to settle down but that place has much higher potential than I really realized it did. But still, like I said, there's a lot that I need to consider and there's a lot more adventuring to be had. So that's all stuff I will talk about later on in this series of adventures and figuring out life. But for now, I have been aching to make a certain salve. And I wrote the recipe earlier in the week and I really haven't been able to sit down to do it. It's been excruciatingly hot in the city and I was kind of hoping that the heat wave would go away, and I just don't think it is, so I figured I might as well just grit and bear it and deal with a hotter apartment because it's already very warm and uh, get it done and enjoy crafting some herbal remedies. So let's get to it then.
As predicted, it is getting exceptionally hot in my tiny apartment, but it's worth it. I haven't made a salve in a really long time. And as you probably know, if you've followed me here for a while, they're my absolute favorite herbal remedy or just herbal craft to create. And while this one is more magical based, magically based, and less just strictly herbalism, it's still a process I deeply enjoy. I've actually kind of been doing some research lately and I have been thinking about maybe changing up my baseline recipe a little bit in the time to come. A lot of the markets are starting to open up again and um, prior to the pandemic, I made my primary income on markets and selling at little pop-ups here and there, herbal remedies and funny little things that most of the time the things that sold best were um, easy giftables to just people that you don't really know what to get them for a gift. And I kind of want to refine this recipe and make it that in a way that's a little bit higher quality. Right now, how I make them, it's something that's really easy to do at home and really only uses ingredients you should have on hand or can substitute with other ingredients that are easy to get regardless of where you live, relatively. And so I would like to kind of up the product value just a little bit so that it, if I am to sell at market, so that it isn't something that just everybody can do or make. Because I think that it's more worth somebody's dollar if they're paying for something that they couldn't just do in their kitchen for less. So those experiments are to come soon and I guess we'll see what happens with them, but it feels really good to be making this self again. And this one specifically is for stress relief because it's been a rather stressful time and it would be nice to just have something quick and easy to kind of relieve that every now and again. I'll probably be sharing a recipe on my other channel in the next week or so. Not entirely sure when this will come out in comparison to this, but it'll be out soon and I will write in the description the ingredients I used. But of course, as with any of these things that I share, it's always open to change up, especially when it's magical based or magically based. Can't talk, can't think, it's too hot. <laughs> I've also been doing some more thinking on housing stuff, which is probably no surprise to you all after that is the majority of this video and probably will encompass a lot of things in the future. But I really am not in that much of a rush. I am somebody who can be very impulsive and I get excited about things and kind of like to dive in head first and honestly for the most part it's really led me down some pretty good paths in life and I've been really happy with where things have gone but yeah sometimes I do need somebody to rein me in a little bit and say hey calm down calm down it's not quite time yet and you know after spending a little bit more time looking in between while well, this is cooking and stuff and doing some more research and realizing that there's not a lot of opportunity currently when it comes to those things so I probably need to cool off a bit and just spend time adventuring and appreciating the adventure more than just the do I want to live here? I don't think I will be able to let go of the do I want to live here feeling and honestly at the end of the day I'm not really sure if Washington is 100% where I want to be. I mean, I do really want to be here, but it's very expensive. <laughs> I'm rather used to living in Virginia where life is not as costly as it is here, and that's a really big thing I need to consider. Though, it does come with a lot of benefits. There's health care and a lot of rules in place that make it so that insurance can't take advantage of you here the way that it can in other states and issues that I faced in Virginia I won't face here which is really big so lots of things to consider as always and this is an adventure that we will continue down and who knows where my impulsiveness will lead us next but so far I'm just trying to steady myself out again and focus on the now because there's no point in really getting lost in the what-ifs in the future if you don't have to. Though I am still very much looking forward to all the adventures to be had and all the new places to see. That really is why I got this apartment and 
It feels good to be getting out of the city again and just exploring and experiencing life and feeling all these new energies of the earth. And especially right now when it's brutally hot here, we're going through a heat wave and I think I may escape out to the cabin and visit my grandma and just get out of here for a bit soon because oh boy, is it, is it something else. I left Virginia because it was so hot and seems like there's not really a lot of places you can escape to so I suppose that's what we're facing now and something we all have to sort out and figure out in the time to come but anyhow I'm getting lost in lots of chattiness that's this video seems to be lots of chatting and me kind of sorting through a lot of ideas and experiences and future plans so apologies for that I, We'll try to keep that at a minimum and maybe spend some more time exploring ideas and thoughts and experiences instead of just speculating and being excited. But that'll come in another video. For now, I think I'm going to finish up this salve and probably close out this vlog after that because I've got some bigger plans to move on to. So I'll see you guys soon.